Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of the video, today I will be setting up my bullet journal setup for the year 2022. This is the perfect time for us to plan our future, set some new goals and document our favorite moments. So without further ado, let's get started. For 2022, I will be using the same journal from last year because it still has got a lot of empty pieces. This journal is by Lee Stallion and if you are interested in a full detailed review, then the link will be in the description below. Starting off with my cover piece, I went for a quite minimal theme. Here I'm using a mini black sign pen and writing 2022 in big letters. Then I took my black gel pen and wrote 2022 in letters. I wanted to try out some interesting calligraphy but clearly I'm not very good at it. Anyways, to make it a bit cute, I have recreated this cute little pumpkin from my October spread. I find this really cute. After adding some borders, let's color the pumpkin. And with this, we are done with our cover piece. On the left hand side, I've added a year at a glance spread. It is quite explanatory. It is a space where you can write down the months, weeks and days of the year. This did took me a while especially to fill up all the dates so I would definitely suggest you to use a print cutout or stamps if possible otherwise you can go on with writing with your hands.
Moving on, I have my future log. For this, I'm making a simple banner. If you want to try out some new banner styles, then you can watch the video in the description below. Now I'm coloring the banner green to keep the pumpkin theme. Then I made 12 rectangular boxes for 12 months and color the top with orange. Now I'm filling the name and dates of the month. I use my future log as a place to write down important dates, fun events, my highs and lows to remember in the future. You can obviously use it your way. After filling the dates, we are done with the future log. This next one is for my goals. For this, I'm making a cute banner with goals written on it and then coloring it green. On the right side, I have made place for my vision board. This turned out to be quite small, but it's fine. Even for vision board, I'm using the same design as the goals and then coloring it too. On to the next spread which is our weight and period tracker. This is again a simple spread with graph style. For this, I've written the first letter of the month at the top and weight and date at the side.
This next spread is from movies and TV series. For this I have made small pumpkin with 5 sections so that I can color the pumpkin as rating. So in that way if I like the movie I will color the pumpkins in all 5 sections and if I don't then I will be coloring only one section. I hope that was clear. This year I have made very little spreads because last year most of them were on film so I am only making those spreads which I really need. If you want more ideas then you can definitely check out my 2021 bullet journal setup. I will link it in the description below. For now let's have a final flip through. I hope this new year brings you a lot of happiness and new adventures and all your goals will be fulfilled. That's it for today and I'll see you in my next video. Happy New Year!